Mod Kirby is what you get when you order mod Ash from Wish. Mount so handsome. Thank you. I thought these were meant to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be called um, apologies by the end when Jagex inevitably f something up. Deadman is a limited time game mode which has PvP everywhere. So everyone starts on a brand new account. XP rates are enhanced. You have to build your account for the finale where you want to survive as long as you can to try and win prizes. Hey, I've technically won a Deadman mode. Give me these fireworks. So Deadman started in the early years of old school RuneScape as just an alternate way of playing the game. It got repeated various times over the years with bigger finals. And then we brought it back with Deadman Reborn where we introduced the sigil system. Then we had Deadman Apocalypse where we think it was actually on Manx who had the idea of what if we just put a bunch of just bosses into the world at regular intervals. Ah! I'm gonna die. This continued man mode. Damn, he's right. We have to cancel the entire thing based on this one post. I'm leaving. Goodbye. This was definitely the most fun demo to play in without being a top tier PK. I saw a lot of feedback saying people that don't primarily PK had a great time. Saw a lot of the people that won had a great time because obviously they won money by just playing the game and having a good time. So if you're a PVMer who likes doing new content or if you're already a veteran at that content but you want to have a completely different experience, then Deadman is perfect for you. You have different sigils that completely shake up the meta. They make you even more powerful. You can potentially solo bosses that you never thought you could before and then you have skilling with the sigils they make it really worthwhile you get great resources and it's just super enjoyable i am about to print billions and billions dead man mode is literally always dead content after a week or two long concurrent play counts as otherwise <laughs> Deadman is actually quite friendly towards solo players. The prize winnings that you can actually get from Deadman, you don't solely need to be the last surviving player and that typically revolves around being in a clan. You can participate, kill loads of bosses, do some skilling and get points and potentially win. So you can be a solo player and still earn a great chunk of the prize pool available. As well as it potentially winning you cash prizes, it will also potentially give you the chance to get cosmetics in the main game. And then you also get a nice little trophy based on how many points you get to. No jads at breaches. Jamflex plus. I'm with you. We want to keep it tame for the first iteration of breaches. Just make sure this is something we can actually do. I do kind of want to see if we can go crazier on the bosses this time around. Prepare for many, 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 many jads. Building on the success of Dead Man Apocalypse, we want to make breaches a little bit more random, a little bit more difficult. For the finale, we also want to make it a bit more chaotic because we saw the feedback that there just wasn't enough chaos. There weren't enough monsters killing everyone. So we want to work on that and make sure we give the players and the viewers a great experience. If you like running away from players screaming, which admittedly doesn't appeal to too many people, but you might enjoy it. If you like killing way too many bosses at the same time, if you like getting stupid powerful sigils, because we have those as well, there might be something for you in Deadman. I think players have come a long way since the last Deadman, and I know a lot of people always question, oh, should I play this Deadman, should I not? And they miss out and they see all the content creators having a great time, so I think a lot of people this time around are gonna give it a go, and it's gonna be a crazy one. Try it.